Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we'll be going through certain more terminologies that we have or that we use when it comes to accountancy. So earlier we have studied about what do you mean by assets, what do you mean by entity, what do you mean by liabilities, capital, etc. <music> Now we'll be studying further more terminologies. The first one will be sales. So what do you mean by sales? Sales is nothing but the income that has been generated due to the products or the services that you sell to your customer. That is the reason it is termed as sales. So if you have a business of your own and it refers to selling out any product or selling out any service, this specific process of selling out any product or service is known as sales. This sales generates a revenue or generates income for you. Now, the second terminology that we'll be going through is revenues. Revenues is something which is related to sales itself. So if you're selling out a product or if you're selling out a service and the revenue or the amount that is generated because of this specific sale is known as revenue. So any business that you have and the reason you earn money because of that business, that specific term is known as revenue. So if you have a business of selling out apples or if you have a business of selling out garments and the amount that you earn because of selling these things, that specific thing is termed as revenue. Now, there are different kinds of revenues as well, what we can talk about, but these are generalized categories. It may be commission owned, it may be interest owned, it may be a dividend received by investment. That is also termed as revenue. Next one will be expenses. Now expenses are certain that you have to procure certain liabilities or you have to procure certain assets and the payment that you make in terms of procuring these liabilities or procuring these assets are termed as expenses. So generally expenses are measured as a cost of the asset. So when you have any specific asset that you have procured and if you have incurred certain payment or if you have made certain payment for that, that is an expense that you have made towards the company or towards procuring that specific asset. The second part of this will be expenditure. There's a difference between expense and expenditure. Expenditure relates to something which is a form of building up liability or procuring certain asset. Now, if you have made certain expenditure to procure certain asset or if you have made certain expenditure to procure some liability, might be a loan or the processing fees on the loan. These are the expenditures that you can talk about. Expenditures can be classified into two parts. Basically, revenue expenditure, capital expenditure. Revenue expenditure is a certain expenditure that you have to keep incurring on a monthly basis or on specific intervals. It may be a quarterly expenditure, it may be a monthly expenditure, it may be a half yearly expenditure or it may be a yearly expenditure. And the benefits of the same are enjoyed every month, but for a specific period of time. So if you have paid rent for the month of May, that means you have enjoyed the expenditure only for the month of May. If you have to enjoy the expenditure, if you have to enjoy the benefit of it for the next month, you have to pay the rent again for the next month. That is known as a revenue expenditure. However, if you have made certain expenditure and the benefit of that specific expenditure can be prevailed or can be availed for a long, long years, that means that kind of expenditure is a capital expenditure. For example, if you have purchased a plant, plant being the plant that is used in production of certain goods or services. If you have used or if you have procured that plant, that plant is going to service and that plant is going to go ahead and provide you the services for the next few years. But the expenditure that you have made is just one time. Hence, that expenditure is known as a specific capital expenditure. There's a third category in this, which we'll be studying about in newer chapters, which is known as a deferred revenue expenditure. These expenditures, to give you an example, will be more of advertising expenditures. So if you have incurred heavy advertising expenditure, that is termed as a deferred revenue expenditure. The reason being the benefits of these expenses 
are procured or probably availed for a lot more years as compared to any kind of revenue or capital expenditure. Hence, when we talk about deferred revenue expenditure, it may be advertising which has been done once, but the benefit of that advertising is taken for years. Hence, it is known as deferred and not a capital expenditure. The next term that we need to understand or study about is profit. Profit is nothing but excess of revenues over expenses. Excess of revenue over expenses is the thing that we need to understand. That defines profit. Now, when we talk about profit, this profit has been earned because of the business transactions that you make. The regular business transactions that you make, it may be sale of specific goods, sale of services due to which you have earned profit. Excess of these profits will incur or probably will attract more of investors' attention and will have the investors' funding on the higher side whereby investment leading to these specific profits will gain more returns for these investors. Hence, we need to have a specific pattern where we need to understand the profits are on the higher side and not on the lower side at any cost. The next part we will be talking about is loss. When we talk about gain, gain is a different part as compared to profit. Profit is something which you do on a regular basis because of the regular transactions or the business transactions that you do. However, gain can be a generalized category. Gain may refer to sale of asset and the profit or the gain that you've earned over there because the price of the asset would have been 10 lakh, you might have sold that asset for 16 lakh. But that gain of 6 lakh additional is the regular gain or a special transaction gain will be determined on the kind of business that you have. For example, if Mr. A has a business of selling lands, now, if he has earned profit or gain, can be determined whether he has sold out land or not. So, if he has a business of land and he has sold out certain land and he has earned amount over and above the expectation, that means that specific term is known as profit and not as gain. However, if Mr. A has a business of selling out garments and he has sold out a land of his own, so that specific transaction led to gain and not profit. So this is the difference between profit and gain. When we determine loss, as we have determined profit, profit is excess of revenue. Similarly, loss is excess of expenses that we do. So for any service or product that you provide or any service or product that you give, if it incurs a lot of expenses, that means you are going through a loss period. So if you have more of loss, that means less of profit, less of investors attention, less of investors funding and less of capital, which will lead to bankruptcy at some point of time and you'll have to close down the company. So when it talks about loss making company, that means they have more of liability and less of assets, less of profit. So this is the term loss. The last part we'll be studying about is loss making company. When we talk about loss making company, that means these transactions or these specifications which we relate to will be only restricted to companies which has more of liabilities and less of profit and less of asset. So any company which has more of liabilities on it, which has to pay more of expenses on it and less of income due to non-generation of profit, that means these companies are known as loss making companies. That's it for the day. Thank you for watching Ikeda. Keep subscribing to Ikeda.